Hey everyone, just got some pen mail in. Today's package arrives from Pen Boutique over in Maryland. And the reason why I went shopping there was for a specific reason. Well, for, for starters, I've never shopped there before. I am familiar with Lena and I'm familiar with her shop, Pen Boutique, but I've never had the pleasure of buying anything from there um, because I see, tend to stay pretty uh, loyal to quite a few pen companies, but you know, I'm always willing to give new pen stores a try. And so Pen Boutique absolutely did not disappoint. Uh, they shipped really fast. And anyway, so the point is, I went shopping at Pen Boutique online for a specific reason. That was because I've been collecting the all American wood pens. So I have this ebony that I got from Goulet a while back. Here's the walnut that I found over at Pen Chalet. And I found this, the Rosewood edition, only exclusively at Pen Boutique, yeah. So I had to add to the series with a third wooden pen. So I'm pretty excited about it. So let's get started, let's take a look at it. Comes in, you know, a very special edition sleeve. The look of rosewood on it. And it comes in its typical Conklin box. So we open it up and, ta-da! Hold on, is there anything blocking? No, ta-da! Ta-da, ooh! La la! I like like a lot. What number did I get? I got number 13. Wow, number 13 out of 398. Not bad. I'm not I'm not superstitious, so the 13 doesn't actually bother. In fact, my daughter says that 13 is her lucky number. So that shows you how not superstitious we are. Inside the box, you get some paperwork such as Oh, it's all falling all over the place. Um such as a Conklin card with a Yaffa Brands contact info on the back, a fountain pen refill instruction card, which shows you this on the back, and a card that says the Omniflex nib is now available in three finishes. So let's look at this. Oh, almost forgot. So if you lift the false bottom from the box, there are some cartridges in there for you so you can get started right away if you don't have any ink. But if you do have ink, thank goodness the All-American does come with a converter because I personally like to write with different colors of ink. So let's take a look at this pen. Starting with the rose gold rocker clip. I love the rocker clip. It's like so easy to use and it's so awesome. And here, is the etching of the Conklin pens and right on the back here is the addition number out of how many. Now I've stated this before, so let's open this up and it comes with the black nib, it's got the black Omniflex. This looks like this is the old Omniflex nib. So I'm gonna tell you right now, the old Omniflex nib is not gonna perform the way I like it. And the reason for that being is that I've had lots of experience with this nib and it runs dry really fast. So what's gonna end up happening, I'm going to ink it on camera and I'm gonna do a writing sample with it. But eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace the nib just like I replaced the nib in the other wooden pens with a rose gold Bach nib, which in my opinion looks a lot nicer with the rose gold nib. So I'm going to order another rose gold nib. But, and that's gonna look really nice with this. You know, the rosewood is really gorgeous. So, like I was saying, the All-American does come with a converter. There it is. So that's always nice. I don't plan on posting this pen. The All-American is already a big pen as it is, but it does post. So if you like to post your pens, this actually posts very nicely. Um, but if you don't post your pens, that's fine too. I tend to not post mine. But 
for the video, for the sake of this video, when I ink it, I will post it and write with it. Okay. Now that wasn't all Lena did. Lena was so nice and she decided to include a couple of extras. Now the first extra that comes with this pen, which I need to mention is that the Conklin pens and pretty much all the Yaffa, the Yaffa products come with an, a bottle of Monteverde ink for free. And so I chose chocolate pudding. I just thought it would be a nice touch and I, I kind of like chocolate mousse. So it's like chocolate pudding, chocolate mousse. I know they're not quite the same, but chocolate mousse actually sounds pretty good about now. So I will be filling the pen with this chocolate pudding ink, but it doesn't stop there. She threw in a little crab. It's a pen holder, isn't that cute? I don't have one of these, but I see them everywhere. Like everybody has one of these little crabs uh, that sits on their desk and you just sit down and it will like hold your pen, which I think is, that's really cute. So it's kind of a fun little um, novelty. But then she sent me a couple of other things for review purposes. And of course I'm going to oblige. So the first thing she sent is Pen Boutique's own brand, Yak Leather. And what they do is they make leather cases. And so it's nice quality leather cases. So the first one she sent me, it is a single pen sleeve really soft. I think it's goat leather if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is real nice because it's velvet lined. So your pen is going to be nice and taken care of when it's stored in here. And I believe according to the website, this pen sleeve runs $18. Not so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just try out a pen in here. We'll try out the new rosewood. This actually looks really nice with the rosewood. And yeah. So it's a nice fit. So that's real nice. It's really nice leather, really soft. I like that. So it's going to really take care of my pens and my purse, um, especially with, you know, if it's in a pocket with other things. Very nice. Now, the second thing she sent to me is in this magical sleeve, this magical velvet sleeve. I love this colored green. It'd be a nice, nice ink kind of so what's in here is another Yak Leather product and it's a 10 pen case. And this is in brown leather, soft, just like the single sleeve, it's really soft. And the back of it is hard, it's got a hard back and the front is nice and cushioned and it has a zipper closure. So I open up the zipper closure and it opens just like this. So you can have access to your pens. And inside of it, whoop, whoop, where it is, comes in here. And it's a little information about this product, but it says this beautiful pen case will hold up to 10 full-size pens made with high quality chrome tanned goat leather. It has velvet lining to prevent scratching and it has a YKK zipper. So, it is well made. All the stitches look like they're in place. So it wasn't like, you know, this rush job to get this case. Inside of it, it is velvet lined. It's very soft. So let's stick, let's put our pens in here. So I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put all of the wooden All-Americans in here. Actually, the colors look really nice in here. Okay, so here you go. Does it just fall forward? <laughs> Looks really nice, huh? And I like that it's not like this huge pen case. You know, this is actually a great size. And so if you carry a bag, like if you carry a purse or you carry a backpack, your student, um, carry a briefcase to work, this actually is a wonderful size to keep in your bag. And this retails, which I find the price to be really good for a 10 pen case, $75. I don't think that's bad. I mean, and it's quality. It is high quality. I'm pretty excited. And I just want to, Lena, thank you so much 
for just being so thoughtful and sending this over. Really am pleased with these cases. Very nice. And of course the little, the little crab, <laughs> which is so cute. Next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to ink up this pen. Even though it has the old Omniflex nib, we're gonna give it a try and see what happens, okay? So bear with me. All right, let's ink this baby up. Thank you for joining me for this look at the Conklin All-American Pen Boutique Exclusive Limited Edition Rosewood Pen. It's really stunning. This retails at Pen Boutique for $76. And if you're a first time customer of Pen Boutique, they have a thing where you can sign up for their emails and you can get a 5% off coupon code, which actually when I did this, it brought my price down to $71. Hey man, it's five bucks. That's five bucks that's gonna stay in my bank account that I could spend on a different pen, right? So 76 bucks, 5% off if you're a first time customer. Also, I highly recommend this lovely pen case, 10 pen case plus a single sleeve from Pen Boutique. This is their own creation. And I think they did a great job. I really like, you know, it's it shows me these guys are so into pens that they're willing to create a case to hold pens in. And I'm all down with that. I like that I'm gonna be able to keep that when I am not using the pen case or even when I'm using it, it's just on my desk. I'm gonna keep it in this nice little velvet pouch. So it's a nice, nice classy touch. So it was the old Omniflex. I'm not going to complain because I know I'm going to be switching it out anyway, but just uh, be patient with it. Um, they also sell replacements. Again, just like in the old, the other All-American or all the other wooden All-American pen reviews, I'm still not a huge fan of this section. I just, I'm not. And I complained about it before and I said, you know, if this had a matching wood section, I think it'd be awesome. But people are like, oh, it'll stain, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? I imagine that you could treat this surface with something where it doesn't stain so bad. And you know what? If there's if it's wood here and my finger oils happen to stain it, so what? I don't mind that type of wear on my pens. In fact, I rather welcome it because it just shows some character to the pen. So that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Perhaps found this helpful. And that's how the ink flows.